The world recently grieved at the death of rock star Eddie Van Halen. From the beginning of his moniker in the early 1970s, his famous electric guitar performance has filled venues. David Lee Roth, the original frontman for Van Halen, had a great career in music until 1985 when Sammy Hagar took front stage. The creative vocals brought the band legendary reputation. Over the years, everyone returned to Van Halen for various stints, but one frontman has accumulated a somewhat higher net worth almost half a century later. With 12 studio albums sold more than 56 million copies in the United States, Van Halen rose to become among the best rock bands of all time. Published in 1978, the group's self-titled debut album helped to start the careers of the young musicians and guarantee their position in rock memory. 1984, their most successful album, debuted the hit song, Jump, which shot to top the Billboard charts. The band won in 1991 for Best Hard Rock Performance with vocal on the blockbuster album for Unlawful Carnal Knowledge and has three Grammy nominations. The band also gained induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2007. Over his time with Van Halen, Roth worked on six chart-top albums. Thanks to his joyful attitude, limber motions, vibrant clothing, and blonde hair, the lead singer and main lyricist shot to fame on MTV. The very gifted leader was credited with producing the signature sound that marked the venerable band. After launching tremendously popular hits like California Girls, and Just a Gigolo I Ain't Got Nobody, Roth started experiencing personal problems with Eddie Van Halen in 1985. The two agreed to split ways, and the energetic artist opted for a solo career. David Lee Roth, 66-year-old lifetime rocker, is reportedly worth $60 million according to Celebrity Net Worth. Called the Red Rocker, Sammy Hagar replaced Roth in 1985 and stayed Van Halen's front man until 1996. He went back for a while between 2003 and 2005. Originally a business entrepreneur, Van Halen, the curly-haired rocker, made a small fortune front stage. He purchased a tavern in Cabo San Lucas and then launched Cabo Wabo, his own tequila brand, in the 1990s. Hagar sold 80% of the company for $80 million in 2007. He sold his remaining shareholding two years later for still another $15 million. Hagar also owns two eateries called Sammy's Beach Bar and Grill, a real estate portfolio, and a sizable collection of cars. Local charities benefit from profits made at both sites. Celebrity Net Worth claims the vocalist of The Best of Both Worlds is richer than his Van Halen comrades. His projected net worth comes to $150 million.